Summertime, I am Pavlov's dog, and my eyes and flesh start to water. It's written in braille on my skin, put your ear to my thunder thighs. Maybe the stretch marks and the burn scars will start to rumble. About the house full of Gatwell flowers that reeked a funeral home and good intentions. Entire days spent on planet Mercury Mariner, eating Pizza Hut, lurking in storage unit bathrooms and Roman Catholic churches because none of us want to go home and face the music of an abusive man in a midlife crisis band. When I was little, I was very careful and I walked on my toes, so my mom took me to a physical therapist who flattened my feet. Well, that lady did her job good, and I walk like you now. But to this day, my tendons still connect me to my past, and at night, in my slumber, I am seized by Achilles and thrown off my bed, wood floors, asleep no more. I have died many times before, and I'll keep dying, again, and again, and again, before reaching the back inside cover of the last book of my everything. And that is all I'll ever know. In between lives, there is the forgetting of names and faces and what it was like to be small or fat or awake. These are other people and another person, and I have forgotten what they looks like and what they was like, as if I never was them. But in addition to dying again, we are, have been, and always will be Pavlov's dog, limping through lifetimes in a matter of months and leaving a trail of drool behind me in the summertime. So you hit me with a diaper truck? Then call me a miracle when you see me walking hind legs on Oprah. But is it really noble for a wounded beast to carry on when the only other option would be to drag myself backwards through my own drool? Please don't patronize me. I am no saint. But when they were seven, they wore a plastic rosary around their neck and wrote to angels in a spiral notebook asking for a reply that would never and could never be given. Ten years after that and one year before now, they was a closeted non-believer, but in particularly nasty arguments, their mother would throw holy water at them, just as I spray my dog when she won't shut the hell up. That memory still irks them. I guess. It still irks me. Maybe I haven't left that lifetime yet. Maybe the chains that tether me to them are stronger than I thought. Someday, when I become they again, I would like to meet the me who forged these chains out of chemical frickin' compounds straining with each electrical synapse. Someday, they would like to meet the me that yanks these chains so fiercely that all my goddamn dams would come crumbling down and the waters that melted in the summertime come rushing back in huge, looming waves. The flood is coming. Come cope with me in this arc. Your past selves will keep you company, and Pavlov's dog will keep you warm. You won't need much. Just a plastic pen and a paperback notebook. A regal return to record keeping. The sacred right to remember all the yous that passed away. And the sacred right to recognize the old bones that remain fossilized in your skin and your psyche. And yes, it is very likely that there will be times when you are uncomfortable, but even your strange six-year-old self, the one who talked to cats and collected bread ties, is not a stranger. You've just forgotten what it felt like to live in her skin. Maybe you, he, she, they, I, will never remember. But dear self, understand that even though you write love letters to nihilism, there is only one way to escape the past completely. Step one, slam head into brick wall. Step two, repeat. Step three, repeat. Step four, repeat. Step, repeat. Five, repeat, 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 and wait for amnesia. The alternative. Make peace. When you are ready, make peace with yourselves, the drool, and the diaper truck. When you are ready and the waters are calmer, come out into the sunlight and examine your own skin and the bones fossilized beneath it. In your 
remaining pause, hold your resignation in resin and your self-preservation in shimmering amber. And when you are ready, and only when you are ready, make peace with Pavlov and his bow. <laughs>